they have gathered their armies. They have gathered people around you in order to humiliate you, put you to shame, defeat you. But brothers and sisters, they will not prevail. They will not handle you because you are too hot to be handled. They are not your level. They are not on the same platform with you. You are above and not the beneath. You are the head and not the tail. You are a leader and not a follower. Brothers and sisters, those that have gathered to put you down will not prevail. Every weapon that is formed against you, it will not work. Weapons are going to be formed against you. That is the truth. But they will all form to fall to the ground because you are above them. Today's word is from the book of 1 Samuel 17, 1 to 9. 1 Samuel 17, 1 to 9. I would like you to listen carefully to this story because there is something that God wants to speak to you about this message. Some of you, you are wondering why you have been attacked from left to right. You have been asking question, why is it you that you are struggling? You have not received your breakthrough, yet your neighbor who barely does something, things are working out in his life, and yet you, you are struggling. You a child of God. I want you to listen to this message in First Samuel 17, 1 to 9. It reads, Now the Philistines gathered their armies together to battle, and were gathered together at Skull, which belongs to Judah. They encamped between Skull and Ezekiah in Ephesus Dermin, and Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together. And they encamped in the valley of Eher and drew up in battle array against the Philistines. The Philistines stood on a mountain on one side, and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side, with a valley between them. And a champion went out from the camp of the Philistines, named Goliath, from Gath whose height was six cubits, and a span. He had a bronze helmet on his head, and he was armed with a coat of nail. And the weight of the coat was five thousand shekels of bronze, and he had bronze armor on his legs, and a bronze javelin between his shoulders. Now the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam, and his iron spearhead weighed six hundred shekels, and a shield bearer went before him. Then he stood and cried out to the armies of Israel, and said to them, Why have you come out to line up for battle? Am I not a Philistine, and you the servants of Saul? Choose a man for yourselves, and let him come down to me. If he is able to fight with me and kill me, then we will be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then you shall be our servants and serve us. This was an intimidation that Goliath, this was a statement made by Goliath against the children of Israel. He challenged them to battle. Notice that the scripture says that Goliath was a champion, a champion of Gath, a known champion, recognized champion, to the extent that people feared him. That at his presence, fear surrounded the army of the children of Israel. And it seemed as though this man was too hard to defeat because he had a track record. 
Some of you have giants in your life that have come up against you. Your giant could be debt. Your giant could be uh, unfruitfulness. Where you do not have fruits in your life. I'm not talking about the fruits of the Spirit. But you could not have fruits. It, it could seem that the more you work hard, the more things worsen. Your giant could be sickness. It could be a disease that has been in your lineage for far so long. It has been affecting your relatives and it has got you. Your giant could be barrenness. But brothers and sisters, it could even be anger that you are battling with. But whatever has been presented in front of you, trust in God. Now, the scripture says that Goliath challenged them. And 9 says, if he, this is what, I will start by 8. 8 says, then he stood and cried out to the armies of Israel and said to them, why have you come out to line up for battle? Some of the giants, they are asking these questions. They have intimidated you. They have underlooked you. They think that you are too small. And they think you are child's play. They think that you are nothing. And they are asking themselves these questions. But brothers and sisters, there is greatness in you. They have gathered to see that they put you down. And the place they have gathered, it does not even belong to them. They have challenged you. Some of them have even challenged you in courts of law. In the court system, they have tried to buy off lawyers. They have tried to buy off judges. But God, the true and righteous judge, will make a way for you. He will make a way for you. Now, I would like to read to you something. That I will start from verse 4. It says, And a champion went out from the camp of the Philistines named Goliath from Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. He had a bronze helmet on his head, and he was armed with a coat of mail, and the weight of the coat was 5,000 shekels of bronze. Notice that this man had. Uh, helmets, armory that is so heavy to an extent that not even one Israel would carry it. Your adversary has put on clothes that is heavy to intimidate you, but it is not by strength, it is not by power, it is by the Spirit of God. If he does not have the Spirit of God in him, he will not prevail against you. It is not strength that works. Because the strength of this world is nothing. It is the strength that comes from God. That will defeat your enemies. You look at Samson. Samson had the strength of God. To one extent. That even the ones that were strong in that place. Were nothing to him. He was so strong. Your strength comes from God. If, just even when you think you have no strength, God will give you the strength to defeat your enemies. Brothers and sisters, they have gathered against you to see that they humiliate you, to see that they put you down, but you shall become a champion. You are already a champion, in other words. They will recognize you as a champion. Brothers and sisters, this is the good news that I present to you. That Jesus will do it for you. He has already done it for you. It is now time to receive the finished work of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Until next time, be blessed.